Belgian Grand Tour debut Tanuage de Broix shines after Yves Napoil's surprise eclipse. It was tough on the legs, but very good mentally, says Bora's 20-year-old talent who was fifth on the Tour Maillet. While the Tour Maillet stage of the Vuelta a España didn't go the way that anyone was expecting for Remco Yves Napoil, the Belgian's young compatriot Kianuage de Broix served up a performance that highlighted why so many believe that the 20-year-old Bora Hansgrohe rider is a Grand Tour winner in the making. Uage de Broix finished fifth on the stage, right on the wheel of fellow 20-year-old Juan Ayuso, the pair of them on the heels of the untouchable Jumbo Visma trio of stage winner Jonas Vingegaard, race leader Sepp Kuss and three-time Vuelta champion Primoz Roglic. It was the standout ride of Uage de Broix's budding professional career, which is now into its second season with his German team, and lifted him five places up the overall classification to ninth. It came despite him being affected by illness in recent weeks and being hampered by a persistent saddle sore during the Vuelta, the discomfort so intense from that most tormenting of cycling injuries that he was forced to stand on the pedals while climbing the COLD Obisque, the first of the big ascents on Friday's 13th stage. Uage de Broix was the winner of last year's Tour de l'Avenir, which has long been a gauge of upcoming talent. Yet, after every edition of this under-23 race it's always hard to gauge the level of the talent on display. Some years the vintage is great, such as in 2018 when Tadej Pogakar beat Thimon Erensman, Gino Mater, and Alexander Vlasov. The following edition won by Tobias Foss ahead of Giovanni Aliotti wasn't as impressive, however. Based on what we've seen at the Vuelta, the 2022 Tour de l'Avenir may well be in the same class as that edition won by Pogakar. Among the riders beaten by Uge de Broix were Frenchman Lenny Martinez and Italian Lorenzo Milesi, who have both worn the leader's red jersey. The young Belgian was head and shoulders above that pair and everyone else in that Tour de l'Avenir in that race and has looked it throughout this season. The Vuelta is his fourth World Tour stage race of the year after the tours of Catalonia, Romandie, and Switzerland. After finishing in the top 10 at each of those three, Uage de Broix is on course to emulate that achievement in Spain, especially as the race will now remain in the bigger mountains where he feels most at home. He'd gone into the Tour Maillet stage optimistic about his chances of moving up from 14th place overall into the top 10. We've climbed quite a few calls but this will be different because we'll be going above 2000 meters in altitude. I love it when the calls come one after another like this. I hope there'll be some gaps and that I'll be able to climb a few places, he said going into the stage. Coming out of it, the Bora rider, who always seems to have a smile on his face, was delighted with how the day had gone. This stage really suited me quite well on paper due to the sheer amount of climbing. I'm not so punchy, so punchier stages don't fit so well to my style, but this was different, he said. I battled again with saddle soreness. But I was able to focus on the race and get through the pain. On the final climb, I just tried to follow as long as possible. I attempted to follow when Vingegaard went, but it wasn't an option in the end and I kept a good pace. Overall, this stage was tough on the legs, but I was feeling very good mentally. I want to continue to fight, and hopefully achieve a top 10 overall. It's my first Grand Tour and it's been a good learning process so far. Asked about how the saddle sore had affected him, Uage de Broix confessed that he'd suffered on the obisk. I couldn't sit on my saddle for a while. But I told myself, focus on the race, forget about the pain. On the Tour Maillet, I set my mind to zero and tried to follow as long as possible. That is likely to be his plan for Saturday's second big Pyrenean stage and for the big days in the mountains of northern Spain during the final week, when Kianuage de Broix's standing looks set to rise even higher.